Thanks for joining us on MercerBears.com with Bob Hoffman, Pete Kennedy with you. Good win on Monday night against a Western Carolina team that had started to get a little something going, but you matched a season-long winning streak with your third straight win. Now you're back to 500 in the Southern Conference. Yeah, it was a big win for us tonight. Uh, Western Carolina came in with some momentum of beating Wofford at home, and they were playing physical and strong, as we know Coach Hunter's teams do, and they they got after us from the very beginning. It was a slugfest for 20 minutes, and uh, somebody was wondering if we were going to kick a field goal or extra point, but uh, we didn't get to that. It was, But it was a great beginning. Uh, Desmond Ringer bailed us out the first half, and uh, point guards found him over time and time again. Uh, Jordan Strawberry and Rashad Lewis made some great passes in, and then multiple guys got in the act second half. Looked like you were going to try to work the high-low there early right. in the game, and Ringer was able to convert. He, uh, he was. He, he really got a lot of shots for us. There's one. He, rim protect. The assistant coach has done a great job. Uh, working with him, and he, he's a hard worker in it. He's had some tough luck on fouls, and for him to get more minutes tonight, and that shot right there is from a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. Uh, happy for him, and then Jordan hit three for four. That was a huge three in the first half, and he hit a couple separation threes in the second half for us. Uh, there's one of them, uh, and he he's shooting the ball with a lot of confidence right now, and that was another huge one, uh, right with a guy in his face. And now, you know, when you're thinking about Rion, uh, the second half, he got his runners going. He didn't hit threes tonight. Uh, didn't practice yesterday. I told everybody, maybe we should have given everybody off yesterday, the way he had energy and way he went after it. But he got some big rebounds for us, too, and he's more athletic than you think. And the final numbers in the game, and again, you you're doing a great job defending. Uh, you're yeah. the best team in the SOCON in field goal percentage defense, and that continued on Monday night. Yeah, it's been great. Coach Eslick uh, really does a great job that. Coach Aker, Coach Merrill all work on the scouts. And, uh, I'm thankful for the staff I have, and uh, our guys pay attention to it, and that's even more important. You can have scouts, but when the kids pay attention and they take it to the floor like we did tonight, we got a chance to be successful. Big one coming up Thursday night, yeah. 7 p.m. at home. Furman Ooh. is tied for first in the league. They do a lot of things well. They don't necessarily yeah. overwhelm you with their size, but I know that you'll have to really be on top of your game, especially yeah. on the defensive Yeah, end. they drive the ball. Coach Medved's done a great job spacing the floor. Those guys know how to play. We had a great game plan at their place. We weren't able to finish it. Uh, I know it'll be rocking and rolling in here. We'll need a big crowd like we had tonight again uh, for a tremendous game against Furman on Thursday night. You guys need to come out and watch us. A 7 o'clock uh, tip for Furman on Monday night, a 62-47 to win over Western Carolina. Congratulations to your 175th victory in your 300th game here at Mercer. Thanks so much for joining us.